I don't. In this video, we're going to do three combinations using two swords. Now, these combinations are not from the Federation, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, I've taken actually a lot of these from Chinese broadsword, so Chinese twin broadsword. Um, but as you can probably imagine, it also works for uh, usually most, uh, most uh, two-sworded play, right? Uh, so let's take a look at these combinations and uh, have some fun with it. The first combination is taken straight from a uh, Chinese broadsword, but again, we're going to assume this guard. Uh, what you want to do is think about inverted pao somse, or just a inverted block. Cut, bring it in, cut, cut, and now you're in this side, and you can do the same thing. One, two, three, four, Except, uh, so this is just like if I'm seeing someone, I just want them to back off. Um, I could do this, right? So if I just see someone doing that combination against me, obviously all I need to do is just block to the side and just back off, right? Uh, but this combination can, it, so first of all, can evolve into other ones as well. So again, from here, uh, if you want to try to make this a little more applicable, if someone is giving you a thrust or something like that, you can deflect it coming in so you're past their tip. One, two, three, four, and coming in this way, and you can hone the tip into your opponent's throat. Uh, so again, if they give you a thrust, one, two, three, four, and you can kind of hone it in if you need to, uh, that would be a good combination. To the front, right, so invert, one, two, three, up, right? So again, honing, always make sure that your tip is doing something uh, when you're finished, right? Because if you're not, you're just kind of like, I have killed you, and you're just here, and the person's not dead, you're kind of open for attack. Versus if you always assume they're still ready to fight you, you're going to probably be less likely to be uh, surprised when they're not dead. Uh, so from here, so block, cut, 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 coming in this way. Now the stepping is going to be a little bit weird just because um, if they're not moving that much, you don't want to move with every step, obviously. Um, but if they are giving you a thrust, I'll probably come in with this one. One, two, three, in. Right, because if the thrust is about here, as I'm coming in, so I'm moving into where the tip is, so now I'm gonna be like up against the, the belly of their sword, and now I'm close enough, I can do a few shallow cuts to the rib. Now a second combination, so this is gonna be actually pretty similar, uh, but this is gonna show you like you can do things from a different angle, right? So from here, again, all you need to do is coming more for an uppercut. Make sense? So one, two, three, four, Coming back in, right? One, two, three, four, in, and then one, two, three, four, and coming in like so. And a third variation, right? So assuming the same guard, is actually start initiate with a thrust, right? So this one you want to say won't be out all the way as you start. You can be in a little bit. Uh, so if you're here and you thrust, most likely they're going to try to parry your sword off to the side. Uh, but guess where their sword is? Their sword is trying to stop you from here. Right? So if you thrust and they deflect, go in with your one, two, coming back in. Right? So this is going to be the same combination. Right? So instead of one, two, three, four, uh, you can start with that thrust. So thrust. Now, if they don't block and you stab them, just from here, just bang. <laughs> right? um, yeah, so if you're here and, they, and you thrust and deflect, follow it up with a few cuts. Right? So again, from the front. So if I, again, thrust them in the throat, they deflect, I can come in with one, two, three, and then making sure I'm still in a position where I could stab them again, right? Uh, so these are like three variations on the same combination. Uh, just keep in mind that you can change them to your whims, right? Uh, now, I like to do thrust, especially as an initiator, uh, just because it's very, it's usually pretty clear how they're going to react, right? So again, if, I see, if you see me stabbing this way, most likely you're like, no, I don't want to be stabbed. Well, if you do that, right, so, no. So this is your sword, right? It's way over here. So if you're, no, over here, and then bang, 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 bang. Make sense? Um, now, one more thing I'd like you to consider as you do this in sparring is uh, the target areas. Right? So obviously, uh, throat, but now you can hit their wrist, you can hit their head, and you can, if you wanted one more uh, head again, or a shoulder, or something like that. Uh, you can vary the target area. Um, now, I do recommend hitting the wrist first, just so they can't really do anything with their sword. Um, right, because over here, bang, wrist, they can't really do that much more. 
maybe a shallow cut, follow through, and this way, right? Um, you can also think of it as wrist shot, um, although I wouldn't necessarily do it, but uh, stab, wrist shot, get their sword out of the way, and then finish with a big sweeping cut. So your drill is going to be, obviously, try it against a partner. Try it with, again, different combinations, right? So what we did was we started off doing one, two, three, four, right? So those start off with cross cuts. We turn it into uppercuts, and we can also turn it into downward cuts, right? So again, if that wasn't clear from the side, right? So the first one was horizontal, second one was coming up from the upper angle, and the third one was coming down, uh, be creative, right? Uh, so you can actually mix it up as well, right? So if you wanted to, you could do block, cross cut, uppercut, diamond cut, um, and that would be kind of interesting, right? Uh, making sure you're trying to hit different targets, right? Uh, also, you can try to do this with, uh, in conjunction to our previous video, with the six count. So you might notice that these combinations are actually pretty similar, uh, because they're mostly, again, a little more on the flourishy side, although this one, uh, the one we just did today, um, is a little more on the application side. But if you do that, right? Right, so if we're here, uh, we can try to do one, two, and if it kind of starts to mess up, you can turn it into a six count, right? Or we can start a six count, realize, oh shoot, they're trying to stab me, block, and cut that way, right? So again, just combine these two, right? So again, you can start from here, one, two, three, oh no, they're actually gonna try to stab me, and then one, two, three, four. So with that, uh, remember this is not federation, so it's not canonical or anything like that. So these were taken either from personal experience, uh, from Chinese broadswords specifically with the beginning of these combinations, um, or just things I've learned uh, from, again, Impact, uh, which is a little bit of a screema and stuff like that as well. Um, so yeah, so although this isn't federation, I would actually still kind of play with the idea because this is actually a really good drill for you to get used to being a little bit more ambidextrous, right? Um, so if I really lose uh, the ability to use one arm, uh, I can still do something with the other. But as always, uh, stay safe, stay humble, and keep training. I don't.